Recently, Anchor released the Nano 45W Gun Charger, equipped with a smart display. It can quickly recognize iPhone 17, 16, and 15 series devices in USB-C iPads and adjusts current and voltage at a millisecond level speed to enable fast charging while ensuring safety. The front of the packaging features the Anchor logo. The back of the packaging has an information sticker. The package includes the charger, along with a user manual and other accessories. The charger is wrapped in anti-scratch protective paper. The outer casing is made of PC flame retardant material. One side features the Anchor logo. This side features a touch control button and a USB-C port, with a recessed design for the touch area. The top black panel houses the smart interactive display. It supports recognition of the iPhone 17, 16, and 15 series in USB-C iPads and automatically adjusts the current and voltage accordingly. It can also display the charging status, power output, and progress. It can also indicate the current temperature status. It also features a variety of fun emojis. The input side of the casing is printed with the specifications. Model, A121D. Input, 100 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 1.5 amps max. Output, 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps, 15 volts 3 amps, 20 volts 2.25 amps, 45 watts max. The charger has passed triple C certification. It comes with foldable prongs. The prongs feature a patented 90 degree plus 180 degree dual fold design, allowing use in confined spaces without restriction. The length of the charger is about 40.3 millimeters, 1.59 inches. The width is about 35.44 millimeters, 1.4 inches. The thickness is about 34.03 millimeters, 1.34 inches. It is slightly smaller in size compared to Apple's 40 watt dynamic fast charger. That's how big it is in the hand. The weight is about 73 grams, 2.57 ounces. Charger Lab Power ZKM 003C shows that it supports Quick Charge 3.0 and 4 Plus, FCP, SCP, AFC, Power Delivery 3.0, PPS, DCP, and Apple 2.4 amp protocols. It has four fixed PDOs of 5 volts 3 amps, 9 volts 3 amps, 15 volts 3 amps, and 20 volts 2.25 amps. It also has two sets of PPS, which are 5 to 11 volts 3 amps, and 5 to 16 volts 3 amps. Use it to charge the Apple iPhone 17 Pro, the charging power is about 28.49 watts. Next, let's take it apart to see its internal components and structure. Remove the input side casing. The prongs in the PCBA module use a contact-based power connection, with the prongs secured by a plastic cover and screws. After removing the top black panel, it was found that the display is connected to the PCBA module via a flexible ribbon cable. Remove the PCBA module. The inner side of the casing has copper foil applied in the area corresponding to the touch button. The length of the PCBA module is about 31.59 mm, 1.24 inches. The width is about 31.05 mm, 1.22 inches. The thickness is about 30.2 mm, 1.19 inches. Thermal gel is applied between components. The front side of the output PCB is covered with a thermal pad, and the right side area is reinforced with high temperature insulating tape. A plastic bracket is installed between the primary and secondary sections for isolation, while also providing structural reinforcement. The PCBA module is disassembled into three separate PCBs. The first PCB uses a cutout to separate the primary and secondary sides. Its front side houses components such as an SMD fuse, common mode choke, bridge rectifier, optocoupler, protocol chip, and output VBUS MOSFET. The back side has no components. The front side of the second PCB houses an NTC thermistor, high voltage electrolytic capacitors, a capacitor supplying power to the master control chip, a transformer, and Y capacitors. The back side features an I shaped inductor and a packaged GON chip. The front side of the third small PCB houses a solid capacitor for output filtering, a synchronous buck converter, memory, and other components. The back side features a synchronous rectifier controller, a synchronous rectifier, and an MCU. The SMD fuse is from Better Fuse, rated at 3.15 amps. The common mode choke is a dual wire winding, used to suppress EMI interference. The bridge rectifier is from Pingwei, model TMBFR410A, rated at 1000 volts 4 amps, and uses a TMBF package. 
The NTC thermistor is used to suppress inrush current during power on. The primary side has four high voltage filter electrolytic capacitors, all from JSH, with two of them rated at 400 volts 10 microfarads and 400 volts 15 microfarads, respectively. The third capacitor is rated at 400 volts 39 microfarads. The fourth capacitor is rated at 400 volts 15 microfarads. Close up of the I shaped inductor. The integrated GON chip is from HYACC, model HYC3687HR02R. The HYC3687H series is an all in one controller combining PWM, Sense Fitting, and GON. This controller features lossless current sensing, integrated high voltage startup, and eliminates the need for conventional sense resistors, further improving efficiency, reducing external components, and lowering system cost. The chip internally integrates a 700 volt DGAN, tailored for market demands and highly suitable for compact power supplies. Its patented DGAN drive technology and adjustable switching speed enhance EMI performance. Packaged in a DFN 6 by 8 mm it balances cost and thermal management effectively. Paired with a Huayuan synchronous rectifier chip, it ensures reliable system operation in CCM, QR, or DCM modes. The HYC3687HRX integrates comprehensive protection features, including output over voltage protection, transformer saturation protection, chip supply over voltage protection, overload protection, over temperature protection, under voltage protection, and on-chip over temperature protection. It comes in a QFN6 by 8mm package. The capacitor supplying power to the master control chip is also from JSH, rated at 63 volts 10 microfarads. Close up of the transformer. The OR3H7 optocoupler is used for output voltage feedback. The blue Y capacitor is from DGCX. The other blue Y capacitor is also from DGCX. The synchronous rectifier controller is from HYACC, model HY923. It is a digital adaptive synchronous rectifier controller that supports both high side and low side applications without requiring an auxiliary winding for power. The chip supports DCM, CCM, PFM, and QR operating modes, with a supply voltage range of 3.2 to 25 volts and a withstand voltage of 150 volts. The HY923 features high current drive capability suitable for various synchronous rectifiers, with a gate drive voltage clamped at 7 volts, and an active pull-down function at startup, compatible with MOSFETs from different manufacturers. It provides direct through protection, optimizes switching losses and EMI, and has low quiescent current. The chip comes in an SOT236 package. Here is the information about HYACC HY923. The synchronous rectifier is from Pingwei, model D110ES, an N-channel MOSFET with a voltage rating of 100 volts and an on-resistance of 5 milliohms, packaged in DFN5 by 6 mm. The solid capacitor for output filtering is from JSH, rated at 25 volts 560 microfarads. The MCU used for display control is marked 05320T and comes in a QFN32 package. The memory is from Puya, model PY25Q128HA, in an SOP8 package, used for storing configuration data. The synchronous buck converter used to step down the voltage for the MCU and display is from Toll, marked TY1H, model TMI3341. It is a high-efficiency 1.5 MHz synchronous buck converter capable of delivering up to 1.2 amps output current. The TMI3341 integrates high and low side MOSFETs, with low on resistance to effectively reduce conduction losses. Under light load conditions, the chip operates in pulse frequency modulation mode, significantly improving light load efficiency. Its 1.5 MHz switching frequency achieves low output voltage ripple while allowing the use of compact inductors and capacitors, requiring only a few standard external components. The chip comes in a Row HS Compliance 6 pin SOT236 package. Next to it is an SMD buck inductor. The protocol chip is marked SM001 and comes in a QFN24 package. The USB-C port output VBUS MOSFET is from Alpower, model AP30HADQ, an N-channel MOSFET with a voltage rating of 30 volts and an on-resistance of 4.1 milliohms, packaged in PDFN3 by 3 mm. The back of the display is lined with foam padding. The ribbon cable features a pin header socket. Well, those are all the components of the Anchor Nano 45 Watt Gone Charger with display.